Um, hello, so my name is Shemon Redem Dalma and I will, I will report about our test data. So for our, set of da for our first set of data, we will have three processes. So, for, so when we open our program, the first thing that we're, gonna, that we're going to be asked is that how many processes will we, we enter. And in, the, in our first set of data, we have three, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and enter three. After that, we're gonna ask, we're gonna be asked to enter the burst time and arrival time for the three processes. So the burst time and arrival time for the process P1 is that the, its burst time is 10 and the arrival time is one. Then for the process two, the burst time is eight and the arrival time is 10. Meanwhile, for the process three, the burst time is 10 and the arrival time is 10. So after that, we're going to be asked what is the quantum time for the, for the round robin in level one and level two. So in the level one, the round robin has a quantum time of five. Meanwhile, the quantum time for the level two is three. So now, after we enter the needed information in our program, the program will now, will now show a table and the Gantt chart. This table will show the completion time, turnaround time, time burst time, waiting time of the processes. So as we can see, the process, I, the process one completion time is 11. Its arrival time is one, the turnaround time is 10, the time burst time is 10, and the waiting time is zero. So for the process two, the completion time is 24, the arrival time is 10, and the turnaround is 14. The, its burst time is eight, and the waiting time is six. In the process three, the completion time is 29, the arrival time is 10, the turnaround time is 19, the burst time is 10, and the waiting time is 9. So now we're gonna proceed to the gun chart. So in the gun chart, we can see that there's a level process ID and the time. So this level shows what, what, the, what the process has the level, what's, its, what's the current process level. So, So we're gonna go ahead and explain the Gantt chart. So at time one, there's no processes that still arrive, so it is idle. Meanwhile, at, pro at time one, the process one arrives and then it's, it's finished at time six. Since, since, the, since the quantum time of the, the quantum time of the first level is five, so after it finished, the next process will arrive at 10, and it's time 6, so no process has no process have still arrived. So it will continue to the level 2, and it will start at time 6 at level 2, and will be finished at time 9. So at time 9, no process has still, does still arrives, because the next process has arrives at time 10. So it will continue to the, it will continue to the level 3, and will be finished at 11 since after since after the two first levels the remaining burst time of the process one is only two now at time 10 process two arrives and thus it will be the next process so process two process two is at time 11 and ends at ends at, and ends at time 16 in the first level. So process three also arrives at time 10. So it will be the next after process two. Process three runs at first at time 16 and it's and it finished at time 21. So both processes, process two and process three are now done with the level one. So now we're gonna proceed to the level two. So Process two only have a remaining burst time of three. And the quantum time of level two is three. So at time 21, process two starts and, it, it, and, it's, done, and it's done running at level two at time 24. So in this case, since the, after this, the, remain, the remaining burst time of process two 
will be zero, it is now completed. So the next to it is process three. The process three starts at time 24 and ends at time 27 for the level two. So by then, it still has, by then it still has a remaining burst time of two and thus in level three in the first come first serve, first serve it will be finished at time 29. So for our second set of data, we're gonna have 10 processes. So we're gonna go ahead and enter them. So 10. So now we're gonna be enter the we're gonna enter the burst time and arrival time for process one. So it's the burst time and arrival time for process one is seven and one, seven, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, and for the process nine, it's gonna be three, one, three, one. So now the quantum time for level one is four, and the quantum time for level two is three. So after we enter that, it's gonna show the table and the Gantt chart. So we can see that the completion time for process one is 42, the completion time for process two is 45, the completion time for three is 13, for four, 17, for five, 21, for six, 25, for seven, 29, for eight, 33, for nine, 36, for 10, 39. The turnaround time of these processes are for 1, 41, for 2, 44, for 3, 12, for 4, 16, for 5, 20, for 6, 24, for 7, 28, for 8, 32, for 5, for 9, rather, 35, for 10, 38. So the waiting time of these processes are for 1, 34, for 2, 37, for 3, 8, for 4, 12, for 5, 16, for 6, 20, for 7, 24, for 8, 28, for 9, 32, and for 10, 35. So now we're gonna go ahead and explain the Gantt chart. So all processes at arrives at arrive at one. So and does time zero time zero will be idle. Now process one will arrive process one will arrive at time one and will and will be finished running at the level one at time five. Process two also arrives at all of them arrives at arrival but at arrival time of one, so they will just follow the order of their process ID. Now, process two will run at the first level at time five and will be finished at time nine. Process three will run at the first level at time nine and will be, and will be finished by time 13. Process four will start at time 13 and will be finished by time 17. Process 5 will run at 17 and will be finished by time 21. Process 6 will run by time 21 and will be finished by time 25. Process 7 will run at time 25 and will be finished at time 29. Process 8 will run at time 29 and will be finished by time 33. Process 9 will start at time 33 and will be finished by time 36. Process 10 will start at time 36 and will be finished by 39. So as you can see, from process 3 to process 10, all of them were finished from the first level because their arrival time is equal or less than to the quantum time of the level 1. Meanwhile, process 1 and process 2 still proceeds at the level 2 since after the level 1, these both of them still have still have a burst a remaining burst time of 3 thus at level 2 
process 1 starts at 39 and will be finished at time 42 and process 42 starts at time rather process 2 will start at time 42 and will be finished by time 45. So for our third set of data, we're going to have five process. So the burst time and arrival time for process 1 is 4, the burst time is 5, and the arrival time is 4. For process 2, the burst time is 10, and the arrival time is 5. For process T, the burst time is 5, and the arrival time is 9. For process 4, the burst time is 8, and arrival time is 1. And lastly, for, our, for the process 5, the burst time is 7, and the, the arrival time is 10. Now, the quantum time for both levels are 3. So in level 1, the quantum time is 3, and in level 2, the quantum time is 3 as well. So now, we're, after entering the needed data, so, so now, after entering the needed data, we can now see the process ID, the completion time, the arrival time, the turnaround time, burst time, and waiting time of the processes. So the process 4 has a completion time of 31, and the arrival time of 1, turnaround time of 30, burst time of 8, and waiting time of 22. The process ID 1 has a completion time of 21, arrival time of 4, turnaround time of 17, burst time of 5, and waiting time of 12. For process ID number 2, the completion time is 35, the arrival time is 5, the turnaround time is 30, the ti burst time is 10, and the waiting time is 20. For process ID 3, the completion time, completion time is 26, the arrival time is 9, the turnaround time is 17, the burst time is 5, and the waiting time is 22. So now, for the process ID 5, the completion time is 36, the arrival time is 10, the turnaround time is 26, and the burst time is 7. Meanwhile, the waiting time is 19. The average waiting time is 17, and the turn average turnaround time is 24. So now we're gonna explain we're gonna explain the Gantt chart. So at time zero. So at time 0, it is idle since the first process to arrive is process 4 at time 1. So at time 1, it will end at time 4 since the quantum time level 1 has a process has a quantum time of 3. Meanwhile, after it, the process ID 1 arrives at 4. So it will run next. Process 1 starts at time 4 and will be, will be finished running at time 7. Next is process 2. It will start at time 7 and will, be and will be finished by time 10. Next is process 3. It will start at time 10 and will be finished by time 13. And lastly, process 5. So it, it is the last one to arrive. It arrives at 10, at time 10. So it starts at time 13 and will be finished by time 16. So now, all the processes are completed with the level 1. So now, it will proceed to the next level according to the arrival time. So, we can say that the process first 4 arrives first since its arrival time is 1. The, arrival, the process ID 1 arrives second since its arrival time is 4. The process ID 2 arrives third because its arrival time is 5, and the process ID 3 arrives at 9 since its, its arrival time is 9. It's the fourth one to arrive. And lastly, the process ID 5 is the last one to arrive because its arrival time is 10, much higher than the arrival time of the previous processes. So now, at time 2, 
at level 2 rather, process 4 starts at time 16 and set at time 19. So the next one is process 1 which starts at time 19 and, set, and ends at process and ends at time 21. The next one is process 2 that starts at time 21 and ends at time 24. Next is process 3 that starts with that starts at time 24 and ends at time 26. And lastly, it's it's process 5 at time 26 and ends at time 29. So now all the processes are now done at running at the level 2. So we can see that process 1 and process 3 is now completed since after running to the process since after running at the level 1, process 1 only have process 1 only have a burst time of 2. And thus, after running at process at the level 2, it completed its task and is now done. So next, for the process 5, it has a burst time of 7. And thus, after, after running in the level 1 and level 2, it will, it will only have a it will only have a remaining burst time of 1 and thus process 2 starts at time 31 and ends at 35 and process 5 starts at time 35 and ends at time 36.